You asked, so I'll tell. These are my experiences with Kushcore, and so many of you have asked for this video. A big thanks to my sponsors, Iba Cycles, Kitspo Cycling Apparel, Cali Protectives, Trust Performance, PNW Components, WTB, Industry 9, Shimano, and Jensen USA. Any purchases from the below links at Jensen USA will directly help support my channel as well. Rory Veranda, Jeff Onadas, Trevor Case, Paul Wintermute, we're all curious about my thoughts of Kushcore. Subscribers that already have had a bunch of good Kushcore experiences include Andrew Cox, Nick Brescia, Pa Nipu, and JC. So I'm kind of curious to try these things out. If you're new here, my name's Jeff Kendallweed. I do mountain bike videos. I've been riding professionally for a long time. I've even worked in the bike industry for over a decade. This channel's all about growing the sport of mountain biking, and I try to do that to the best of my ability by bringing you, my supporters, to really cool scenes with very strong advocacy groups that have a cool success story. We just got back from Kamloops, BC, where we had a great time riding and shooting an awesome episode. Stay tuned, that's coming up soon here. This video is sponsored by the fine folks at Jensen USA, so let me put on my Jensen USA cap. There we go. Jensen's been a big supporter of my channel and of all my efforts for quite a while now, and I couldn't be here without their support. I do wanna make sure you guys get full disclosure. I did not pay for my Kushcore inserts. Kushcore was kind enough to hook me up with those. I'm not actually sponsored by Kushcore. I am doing some contract video work and I've got something really cool that will be published soon. I'll let everyone here know when that comes out, but that's totally separate from this review here. Now let's get on with it. What are my thoughts of the Kushcore tire insert system? So you might be asking yourself, why have I not tried Kushcore yet? The truth is I honestly like my regular tires too much. I know what you're gonna say, stop plugging WTB. That's totally fine and fair, but the tough casing tires I run, they have two levels of 60 TPI casing. They're super burly, and not just a little bit burly too. 1,250 grams for my Vigilante 2.5 front tire. That's super heavy. They're so burly, you can run pretty low pressures. They don't fold over easily. They have many advantages that come with that weight. At the same time, I also wanna mention, I've been running 35 millimeter internal width rims for a few years now. What that does, as the rim gets wider, the tire sidewalls become more vertical and that supports the tire much better. This is basically why I haven't needed to run Kushcore or any other tire insert ever, or so I thought. So if you don't know what Kushcore is, here's a quick 30,000 foot explanation. So. Kushcore, it's a foam insert, goes inside your tire, goes between the tire and the rim, and there's also a valve stem that goes through it. What really caught me off guard is that Kushcore was not developed to save rims. It was not developed to keep from getting flat tires. It was designed to be a suspension component. Well, as the tire comes down to the rim, it starts to contact the Kushcore, and the Kushcore provides a ton of resistance. As a side benefit, this prevents rim strikes and it really saves your rim pretty well. Another side benefit is that it's harder to flat with Kushcore in regards to a pinch flat. There's something soft between your tire and the sharp rim. When it comes to installing Kushcore, yes, it's a little bit challenging. I've installed probably 40 motorcycle tires in my lifetime. I've got that down pretty good. I'm not like a pro at it, but I'm rarely cursing and throwing wrenches anymore. Honestly, the Kushcore for me with the Ibis rims was pretty challenging. I got my Vigilante on up front without too many issues and I was stoked on that, but the rear, the Trail Boss, was really, really hard. And I think most of that was because the Ibis rims are asymmetrical. Because the center well of the Ibis rim is offset to the spoke side, it's not in the middle of the rim. It's pretty hard to get both feeds into the well when you're finishing up the tire install. We ended up going to a Judge 2.4 tire. The guys at Kushcore helped me throw it on there. It wasn't nearly as bad as that little Trail Boss. Let's get on to the ride report. On the really steep, gnarly technical trails, I liked this setup. I definitely felt the weight. I run tires that are 1,250 grams a piece, the Kush Core is 250 grams, so together, 1,500 grams of essential tire weight. That's kind of gnarly. One thing I found through my years of riding is that you get used to the weight of your bike and your tires. It took me probably a month to get totally used to this weight setup. You just gotta stay positive that it'll get better, and it will. Where did I most notice the Kush Core? 
it's hard to say. So my riding style is kind of based around having no inserts, pretty well supported tires front and rear. So I did end up running a little bit lower pressure than normal. I'm in like the 20-ish range on this thing. Pretty low and I had to ride in a ton of spring rain, which is extra treacherous. I did have more traction through that. I noticed smashing into roots that I had a lot more traction and there's a step up jump that I've always enjoyed doing and I can't get it every time. I get it like once in 10 tries. Now with the Kush Core, I was able to get it a couple of times consistently while shooting, which I was stoked on. That's such a hard move. That step up is so awkward. I also noticed it a ton in really tight bermed corners where a regular tire might be more at risk of folding over. My cornering technique is more based around pumping through corners, so I don't burp tires very often, but someone who doesn't necessarily pump and is more of a thrash slash type rider, they would definitely notice this as a huge improvement. I liked it because it made my bike feel like a longer travel, more aggressive bike. I did notice a little bit more cushion when either over clearing or coming up short on jumps. And Cushcore told me that it feels like you have something like 12% more suspension. And I would agree with that. So a 12% improvement on suspension on the Ripmo here would essentially make it feel like a 162 millimeter travel bike up from 145s. As I mentioned in my Ripley video, I'm not going to run Kushcore on my Ripley. I want to keep that bike as simple as possible. One thing that's kind of cool I'm pumped to tell you guys about, I'm going to run Kushcore on my pump track bike and on my trials bike. Not many dirt jump bikes are ever used with tubeless tires and I feel like Kushcore would work really well on that setup. So my HD4 doesn't yet have Kushcore in it. I'm going to throw it in there, but I want the HD4 to be as light, playful, nimble as possible. It's short travel. So I don't want to have it feel like it has a ton more travel than it does. I want to keep it mandatory to jump through things on that bike. I'll try it with Kushcore, see how it goes, but thus far I feel like the long travel application is really where Kushcore shines. The internet loves big polarizing statements and very far-fetched opinions. I'm not really gonna do that here. I wanna be super transparent and honest. I don't think Kushcore is necessarily for everyone, but there's definitely a ton of riders that it would be very beneficial for them to run the product. Bigger, heavier riders that ride aggressively, no matter what the terrain, they would benefit really well from Kushcore. It'll keep their tires from burping. And most importantly, if you're a racer, downhill or enduro, Kushcore offers some huge benefits for anyone that takes their racing seriously. If you're racing and you get a flat tire at the beginning of a stage, that can be the end of your entire race. If you break a rim, that can be the end of your whole race. It's cheap insurance. And finally, one usage for Kushcore that I don't think many people talk about is making a small bike feel like it's a bigger bike. That's why I don't want to put it in my HD4 because I want it to stay with that small bike feel. But check this out. If you're going to the bike park and you want to make your trail bike or a mountain bike feel more capable and heavy duty, then the Kushcore would be a solid setup. If I was going to go ride Whistler Bike Park, I would much rather have Kushcore my bike than not, regardless if it's the Ripmo, HD4, Ripley, whatever. I'd rather have Kushcore in that instance. If you can relate with any of those categories of riders that I just described, chances are you will become fanatically obsessed with how good Kushcore works. If you're not within those categories, it can be fun to try it, especially if you're going to a bike park one-off thing. It's cool. It definitely does something very good on the bike. If you're thinking about trying Kushcore, I have a link in the YouTube description below over to Jensen USA. Jensen's a great supporter of mine. Anything you purchase at Jensen will help support my channel. If you're getting Kushcore from Jensen, you can also pick up new tires. You can call them and ask about what tires work best with Kushcore, and they have all that stuff in stock. Now, I want to ask you guys, what do you think of my idea to run Kushcore on a pump track bike. I personally think it's genius, but I'm a little bit biased here. Let me know in the comments below. I'm always stoked to check out what you guys have to say. Give me your thoughts on Kushcore as well. I'm curious. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. I post weekly, sometimes twice a week. It's been a pleasure hanging out, talking bikes, and I hope to see you guys soon. On the trails in about four weeks now, if all goes well. <laughs>